Pell Grants are needs-based grants for uh, low-income folks who want to go to college. It ensures that uh, whether you have enough money to go to college or not, you will have some level of access based on Pell Grants. They were created many, many years ago. Um, and people in prison, just like anyone else who's low income, uh, were able to access these Pell Grants to be able to go to college. As a nation, we supported college education for prisoners for a long time, from the 60s to the mid-90s. In 1994, Congress, uh, in its infinite wisdom, being tough on crime, decided to take away access to Pell Grants. This was not a financial decision. Pell Grants uh, represent one-tenth of one percent of the Pell budget. This is not a big uh, ticket item. This was a, a decision that came at a time when the country was reeling from very high crime rates and trying to sort of come to grips with what to do about that. And those on the conservative side of the political spectrum sort of had this notion that the service should be taken away as a form of punishment. Literally overnight, college programs went away. And overnight, so did hope for millions of prisoners who were looking for a way to transform their lives. You have to look at somebody who learns to read for the first time or learns to get his GED. If you go to a graduation, the faces of the offenders who have actually graduated with the GEDs, they pat themselves on the back, they pat each other on the back. They want to be educated. I feel as though I visited more places while I was in prison going to college than I've ever visited living in Bedford-Stuyvesant in Brooklyn, that's for sure. So the college courses essentially took me somewhere else outside of the prison setting. And really made it so that it wasn't so easy to dehumanize other people, which is what made it easy to commit crime. Nationally, people go back to prison at a rate of 66% over three years, whereas if you get a master's degree, it drops to under 1%. When you provide someone with an education, it is an economic boost not only to them and their families, but to our society as a whole. These are people who become taxpayers. Uh, these are people who become contributors to society in a very real and meaningful way. They don't depend on social services. For every dollar we spend in education inside prison, we get a $2 return on our investment. People who get college degrees, they get jobs, they pay taxes, they pay fines, fees, restitution, child support. It's worth the investment. Instead of sending somebody to prison for $55,000 or more, we educate them, they come out, they get a job. It's an economic profit to society. You don't care about prisoners? Fine, care about your wallet. Invest now, reap savings later.